you got the new the the Marines in your but I mean you got the, to know them fairly well. Oh yeah. And then when they would get when someone you know would get hurt or, or killed, that had to have a terrible yeah. impact. Yeah. Well, just witnessing a lot of the thing, you know, casual reporting is even ends up in graves registration and stuff like that. You know that. It had to be difficult, though. Just, I would think it had to be terribly difficult. Yeah. Well, I guess it's gruesome somehow. That stuff. And how long? How long were? You, how long were you overseas? How long were you in Korea? One year. Was that like a TDY temporary duty? Or? Oh no, they usually were one year tour over there. They, they were rotate after a year. When World War II ended, a lot of people that had served in combat on the island fighting and all that, they they were discharged, but they stayed in the reserve. And five years later, the Korean War started, and they called them in. And then that five years, you know, what, they got married, had children, and all that. You hear about military men committing suicide for things. The one that I knew about, knew personally, he got out, and he was in an entertainment field from California or something. He got married, had some children, and then and, and ended up getting divorced. And here he was at Christmas time in Korea, and he, he was drinking. And of course, we were in a mountainous area, snow. It was pine trees just like around here. And this one night, he came back to our staff tent. There was four of us on one side of this tent. And another one, uh, staff sergeant, was there with me, and we were just sitting there, and he came down. And when he walked in, of course, we always carried our rifles, all, even then. And uh, he had slipped and fell, and he had mud all, all on the side. And, and, you know, you when somebody is a drinker, you kind of... No one there uh, moody if you should talk or not say it. So we, we didn't say anything. We didn't want to embarrass him. And, and he sat there, and then uh, a little while later, bang, bang, bang. Here he was beating his rifle on the, we had a wooden floor in there. And uh, we jumped up and ran over to him. And here he had tried to, shoot himself, and the rifle jammed. And uh, we, we, we could see the cartridge cocked in there and not going in to the right place. And we were trying to struggle away from him, and he, he, he had a death grip on it, you know, the, the muscle he had up under his chin and his uh, left hand on the trigger, and uh, we, we tried to uh, pull it away, and we couldn't. And finally, the other staff sergeant in there was older than, he'd been a veteran, and he said, John, if you're gonna shoot yourself, go outside the tent and do it, don't do it in here. And, he got up and went out and I ran down and got the sergeant major and they they came back and they, they talked him out of giving up the rifle. And of course, I never seen or heard of him since, but that, that shows you what, how, what can happen to some veterans. In, how do you divorce yourself from that? Or did you, were, were you able to divorce yourself from it? from your time over in Korea? No, I, I, you can also hear some people telling all their war stories, you know, about what all. And I, I've been, I've joined different veterans groups, you know, and involved in all that, but I, I, 
I don't have much respect for those that are try to glorify it because that's not a not sub, something you should glorify. Uh, no. One thing I probably regret that I didn't take advantage of the GI Bill and go to college or anything, but I I like being an auto mechanic and I did that for many years. I was never able to go to Boy Scouts or anything like that, yeah. and I made sure my son was able to. And uh, of course, uh, imagine being a veteran. Uh, the Boy Scouts kind of looked up to me, and uh, probably, and and uh, I I got deeply involved in the scouting. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your service, and I truly, truly mean that. Thank you, sir, for your service.